Hi and uh, welcome. Uh, this is a quick little uh, send off and, and best wishes to our 2013 uh, boys and girls high school players with Chicago Youth Lacrosse and Develop the Athlete. Uh, first, congratulations to the ones who really have uh, put in the time and the commitment to preparing for the upcoming season. Okay, the season's upon us. Now, uh, now your focus has shifted from preparation to uh, fine tune and maintenance these next few weeks, and then in just a few short weeks, you're going to be playing games. And by the time that starts, you're probably playing two and three games a week for the next two and a half months straight. So, uh, what we want to talk about here just briefly today is a couple of things I want our athletes to absolutely focus on, okay? Obviously, your top priority is academics. You guys are going to do great in school. But right after that is lacrosse, and then everything else falls off by the wayside. But within your lacrosse, thought is not just about your uh, X's and O's on the field. These four things I have kind of mentioned on the, on the board behind me are four very key and vital elements for you guys to stay healthy, uh, to be ready to practice and get better every day, and obviously to compete. So first up, nutrition. Okay, we're going to make sure that you guys are, 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 are prepared. We're going to be sending out information on what you guys should be eating about not only fueling up to, to play, but also for recovery uh, and, and everything else that goes in between. Eating is a key key ingredient for you guys for it to be to be successful. Most of you guys are going to be running, running, running every day, classes, and then obviously practices for two to three hours every day. Keeping weight on is imperative. We don't want you girls and boys to lose weight. If you guys lose weight, you're losing muscle, okay? Very few of us at this level need to lose weight, okay? All of you guys are in pretty darn good shape, uh, and, and losing weight is a bad thing. So keeping up your nutritional plan, we'll talk about that and in in some information you'll get via email. Uh, we want you guys to concentrate on that. Secondly, strength maintenance. I hope to God that your coaches are going to implement even just a half hour to 45 minutes a week, hopefully more, to just maintaining your strength, okay? Running, running, running is going to run you guys into the ground, okay? So if it's not in your team discipline, you've got to be in your individual discipline. The stuff that you guys worked on here with Develop the Athlete, with myself and our trainers, you need to implement that into your once a week routine, whether it's uh, Monday evening, Sunday afternoon, uh, Saturday after your game or your practice, whatever it may be, you've got to put the time into doing your heavier squats to your deadlifts. Uh, to, to pull-ups and push-ups and different things like that. So make sure you're putting in that time for maintaining strength. You don't want to lose muscle during the year. Uh, always, 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 the third thing on the list here, warm up and cool down, okay? Uh, not all teams do this. You want to make sure you have a good dynamic warm-up for all you guys and girls that came here during the uh, preseason. Every day you had a dynamic warm-up, okay? You want to do the same thing, prepare for your uh, practices and your games, okay? It should be a minimum of five to 10 minutes, preferably longer, okay? Uh, and lastly, the cool down. You can you know, ride a bike, take a little light jog, whatever it may be. Add in that stretching that we did, foam rolling that we've implemented many times for you guys to do. Uh, you know, keys to making sure you guys wake up a little less stiff, making sure you guys recover a little quicker, and you're ready to go at top, at top, uh, at top level uh, sooner rather than later. Okay? So making sure we warm up and cool down. And then lastly, you young women and men are busy. Okay, you're at a six day a week full time job now between school and your lacrosse season or frankly whatever sport you're playing this season, okay? Uh, but you've got to have your rest. So that seventh day, and many times, most days it's Sundays, you got to get off your feet. Okay, you've got to get your feet up, you've got to relax, rest, watch a little TV, read, do your homework. Um, and just get, get away from the game for a day a week, okay? It's, it's, it's good for your brain as well as for your body, so making sure you get rest. I know you guys have loads of homework. You gotta work on making sure you manage your time. Get, to, get home, do your homework, get it done, get to, you know, you know, fuel back up, eat well, that we talked about here in number one, and then get to bed as early as you can. You need eight hours minimum of sleep. You guys are all still growing and developing, so getting an eight hours a night average is absolutely imperative. We realize some nights will be less, but overall, you've got to make that commitment to get to bed by you know, 9, 30, 10, 10, 30 at night if you can, 11 at the latest, and getting up at uh, 6 or 7, whatever time you guys go to school, making sure you get that adequate rest. So uh, once again, four key components to the 2013. I hope you guys have a great season. I wish you guys the very best of luck. Uh, and uh, look forward to seeing you out in the field this spring and then hopefully back with us again this summer and next fall uh, to prepare for your next year, whether it's going into college. Good luck to you seniors. And then obviously our underclassmen coming back for some more conditioning and skill building in lacrosse. And uh, best of luck. Take care.